The ever-outspoken Sebastian Bach recently participated in a no-holds-barred Q&A session with Metal Hammer fans, and let's just say he did not hold back. When asked about his past feuds with Fozzy frontman Chris Jericho and falling in reverses Ronnie Radke, Bach's responses were anything but sweet. Could this raid night old rivalries? During the chat, a fan asked Sebastian if he would ever participate in a sing-off with Fozzy's Chris Jericho. This idea traces back to 2020, when Bach, replying to fans on Twitter, accused the Fozzy frontman of lip-syncing at concerts and challenged Jericho's supporters to present evidence of him singing live without backing tracks. Jericho eventually responded online, expressing his respect for Bach as both a singer and a friend. However, as Bach persisted with his accusations, Jericho finally retaliated by challenging Bach to a sing-off. Although the feud eventually faded from public attention, Bach's recent remarks might reignite it. When asked if he would ever do a sing-off with Jericho, Bach replied, the better question would be, will he do a wrestle-off with Sebastian Bach? Because I'm as much of a wrestler as he is a singer. Yet another fan inquired about Sebastian Bach's past online disagreement with falling in reverse vocalist Ronnie Radke. In 2022, Bach entered a verbal altercation involving Radke and Sirius XM radio host Eddie Trunk. Trunk had raised questions about falling in reverse cancelling a show due to their laptops not arriving, sparking a conflict that involved Bach. When Radke fired back at Trunk, Sebastian Bach jumped into the tracks versus live performance debate. The two musicians continued their dispute over the weekend, with Radke even incorporating their spat into comedic relief in the Watch the World Burn. Video featuring a Bach doppelganger being struck by a laptop dropped from above. During the Metal Hammer QA, when asked if he would ever make peace, with Radke, Buck replied, I don't know who that is. The only way I know that name is from the internet, so they might as well be a Republican politician or a reality TV show star or YouTuber. Whatever opinion someone has on the internet, I would have to respect their music first. And I have never heard one note of that band falling in reverse. The only reason I know them is because they seem to love their computers more than real rock and roll. Bach's conflicts remained a hot topic with a fan also mentioning John Bon Jovi, whom Bach revealed in his autobiography to have had a confrontation with. Playing down any potential tension, Bach shared with a fan, what I will say is, can you imagine a tour with Bon Jovi reuniting with Richie Sambora and the reunited Skid Row as an opener? We could take that around the world as many times as Guns N' Roses did. I mean, maybe not quite that many times, yeah, but it would be a big draw. He later recounted a dinner in London in 2006 when he was opening for Guns N' Roses, where he, Axel Rose, and John Bon Jovi shared a table. We had a long ride together with a lot of success and there's a lot of great memories, despite what the internet will tell you Bach reminisced. So I invited him over to our table and me, John and Axel, had a great night inhaling red wine and reminiscing. We hope you enjoyed diving into the latest updates on Sebastian Bach's outspokenness and past feuds. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to Music Mad for more exclusive content,